Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Our Mellow. In the last episode we played another single player game and unfortunately barely lost to the AI. Not ashamed to admit it, but it happened. And ordinarily I might say that we would go for multiplayer, but I had a late night last night and didn't get a lot of sleep. So... Because I'm not up for recording a potentially two-hour video, I'm going to stick with single player that I can stop at any time. I'm going to stick with my usual main man, Mercurio. And... Mm, Black Opal... A ruby. Eh, I'll stick with the black opal. Stealth and settlements is useful. And let's see. Hmm, I think I'm gonna stick with my usual the uh, usual usual scratch amulet. Just for the sake of having balance. Yes, yes, we've seen that before. Heroes after my throne. <laughs> now, what have we got? Forgery, the winged boots. Ooh, that can be useful if I can get it. Yeah, why not? See, we've got Focus Disguise, that could be good. Mountain Moss. Relation. Uh, I could use one of those. And Crux. Hmm. I think I'll hold on to Disguise. Just in case I really need that stealth. Still, though, this could give her some early prestige. Hmm. Does she have the gold to pay off the crooks? She does. Especially now. Now, this is one thing I like about playing with AI. They take their turns quickly. Sky, they arise. Get another settlement, lower the cost of my trickeries, and take on this quest. Not like I had any prestige to lose in the first place. Let's slink away into these forests. Let's see, Sir the King, Spirit Stone, no. Bard. Don't really need that. Thankfully, that was early game, so I don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Well, at least I 
just gives me a moon card so I don't have to burn my disguise. Speaking of which, I think we should use that. Ah, crap. But it doesn't attack. So that's a good thing. Shame it's not night. But it is day, which means I can burn this. And... I do have two. Too, so I hold on to that for when I need it. out Zosha. Ooh, decisions, decisions. I mean, either way, I'm getting prestige, but in this case, I'm also taking prestige away from her. Stone right over there. But first I gotta survive this. trickery or two. Hmm. Well, I can't actually do anything from here because I'm still on my clan grounds. Let's get this and this. Hmm. I think I'm going to head straight for my quest. That spirit stone would be nice, but eh. can't see anyone. That is not good. But I gotta get moving. He wouldn't go for the spirit stone. <laughs> All right, Brun, what 
you got. The kingdom shall know my rule. That's a problem, because that means I can't play any of my trickery cards. Because I can't play the heroes, I can't see. So be it. Give me a little extra prestige, and when I beat the next quest, it should help me out. Unless everybody else starts getting prestige. idea if he's still there. I think I might have heard movement of him leaving, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's a chance I'm gonna have to take. Now yeah, why not? Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Fairly certain he's here, because there's no way he was in the mountains. Hmm. Can't go that way because of the night, not that I'd want to anyways, so I think I'm just gonna end my turn here. Got. I've got some extras, thanks to my items, but who knows what'll happen with her. Because I've seen people get several wields in a row. Also be useful too. That's body challenge. I'm gonna go for War of Wits. Pack to run. Make sure he doesn't try to attack me, which I will. Um, let's see, what else we got? Heavy flail. Iron pike. I think I'm gonna take the heavy flail. I could also equip the heavy pike, or the iron pike, but 
I think I'm better off saving that. Uh, burn the cat burglar and... Come on, one sun, that's all I need. Got it. So I'm either going to have to take the long way around to avoid the swamps and the mountains, or I can take my chances. It's hard for him to go after Brun. After all, he's probably going to want to take care of my... Act as soon as possible. take the long way just because it means I gain some health back. Thankfully, I only have one. Ah, let's get some defenses going. Or, a defense going. Just to counter that attack. Toss some crooks. Iron pike, I'm not to use. I'm to use blood money. Alright, now we roll. I may die, but you're coming with me. does allow us to gain some extra prestige. Ooh, I could go over that after that other spirit stone. Ooh, two expendables. That will be handy when I go after the king. go after that spirit stone. I mean, I'm probably not going to get the spirit stone victory, but it could always be handy to have. Wait a minute. 
How did that town become terrorized? No paint on it. Still though, free for me. Oh, there's battle axe. Oh, I'm not seeing anything. Weird. Got plenty of swords. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm better off just rolling and saving those cards. At this point, they're just wasting time fighting each other. No, I could use that chance to go after the king right now. Hmm. Wouldn't be too difficult. Though, granted, I do have two rot. Really wishing I still had that. By my name, take heed. Attacking that king's knight now. Or king's guard. Which I suppose technically are knights. Hmm. Yeah, if I can beat this bane, I can make a straight shot for the castle. And with the expendables, I should be able to lower the difficulty enough that I'll be able to pass easily. Of course, again, that relies on me killing this bane and not dying in the process. Ah, you couldn't have tipped over just a little more. Expendables lower the difficulty so far that I probably could just burn a couple cards to get there. Will then attack the king, I guess? Hmm. Hey, Thane finally caught a break. Could also move there, lower the difficulty, and wait another turn. 
<laughs> that way, when I enter the castle, it will be daytime and the knights will have already moved. Yeah, yeah, that could work. The rot shall creep. Plus, that way I'll have my nighttime bonus when I fight the king. Except that I can't play. No, wait, I can. Okay, and they're all too far away to be able to come after me. Unless one of them has a teleport spell. In which case, I should probably hold off on using the other one. Guard doesn't. I just have to hope that Royal Guard doesn't go back to its spot, but given that Thane is now haunted, he's probably going to go after him. Go for it. Wait. I'm gonna use the throwing axe first. Weaken the guard before I fight him. I didn't need that willed weed to heal myself after that fight. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to roll on the luck of the dice. And my faith was misplaced. Well, there goes that plan out the window. Finish this. The rot shall creep.
Yeah, I was kind of hoping we'd get a wield. But, oh well. Okay, I can get rid of the rot. Get rid of the iron pipe. And hope I get a wield out of one of these five dice. And I did it. Already past the time limit. I just want to finish this off. So close to the end. would need to do is get one card, or not one card, one hit and survive. Though I honestly don't see that happening. Unless I can get another wield sap. Nope. Uh, let's see. I don't have any cards that I can burn. Now I get the wheel. Oh, well, nothing else. I've got this card added to my gallery. You want to reduce the amount of misses I get. Survive. That's it. Good. She won't be able to attack me. She's all out of AP. I might have this, or I might be handing this over to Brun. Shields, plenty of moons. Let's do this. Time to start burning. Oh 
well. Such is the way that our mellow goes. best fight that I could. In the end, it wasn't enough. But with that, guys, that's it for this episode. If you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, and please, please leave comments. I'd like to know whether you guys want to see some multiplayer games of this or not. <laughs>